Well, I'm on the road, headed towards Madison to compete in the Noble CrossFit Games. And it got me thinking about how I prepare for big competitions. And whether it's a big competition or your first competition, whether it's a four day competition or a one or two day competition, there are some things that we should do to prepare for that competition on the week of the competition. Now, we're not gonna get stronger, faster, fitter the week of the competition. So all of that work needs to have already been done. So in my mind, two weeks out from the CrossFit Games, I am as fit as I'm going to get. I'm not gonna get any fitter in the next two weeks. And if this was a week before that competition, I'm not getting fitter, I'm not gonna develop a brand new skill, I'm not gonna add 10 pounds to my snatch. None of those things are gonna happen, but what I can do is take all the training that I've done now and prepare for this weekend's competition. So in this scenario, I'm gonna plan for a Saturday, Sunday competition. Most competitions are gonna be weekend competitions. So I'm gonna talk about how to prepare for a weekend competition. I'm gonna talk about nutrition, mobility, sleep, how to prepare a few days before the competition, what to do the night before, what you'll need on the day of competition, how to recover on those nights. Here we go. So first thing, if it's Monday and I'm competing on a Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are gonna be somewhat regular training days. Although I'm not going for any PRs, I'm not going crazy heavy, I'm gonna keep intensity fairly high, but I'm gonna keep the pounding on my body as low as I can. So I'm not gonna do a big, big run or really hard runs. I'm not gonna do huge barbell complexes because I don't want smashing to be happening on my body with a barbell or any gymnastics or monostructural movement. But I am going to do workouts that incorporate some intensity so that I just keep fine tuning intensity on this week of this big competition. And I'm gonna keep the engine running hot, ready to go for Saturday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the volume is lighter. There's gonna be less pounding, but still keeping the intensity fairly high. If I know the workouts for the weekend's competition, which sometimes you do know those workouts ahead of time, I might practice portions of those workouts if they're long workouts or the entire workout if it's a shorter workout on that Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. It helps me discover some sticky points in a workout or how to transition faster through a workout. But if it's something like at the Legends competition last winter, uh, you know, one of the workouts was uh, 10 heavy deadlifts, 25 handstand push-ups for four rounds. Well, that's a tremendous amount of volume. I don't want to do all of that volume the week of the competition, but I do want to practice that a bit. So I did practice some deadlifts, getting all the way up to 315, which was the deadlift weight for that competition, and did some handstand push-ups, practiced that transition, and imagined what it would be like doing sets of 25 handstand push-ups and sets of 10 deadlifts, but I didn't do the whole thing. There was another workout there that had some running and then a one minute rest and then some overhead walking lunges, handstand walks, uh, dumbbell snatches, not a tremendous amount of volume. And I did practice that entire workout because I thought it would be interesting to discover what it would be like to run for, I think it was eight minutes, rest for one or two minutes, and then go right into the next event. I needed to kind of pre-plan what that might look like. So that's what we can do Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with regards to workouts. We can practice portions or the entire workouts if we know what the competition is. If we don't know what it is, we're gonna practice intensity and we're gonna keep practicing skills without too much volume on those days. Now, as far as eating and sleep, we wanna nail our macros and hit our sleep goals on those days. This is game day week. We wanna make sure our body is really ready for competition. So no late nights, nothing crazy, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, actually. So we only get our eight hours of sleep, at least if we can. Do whatever you need to do to try to make that happen. If you need to wear a sleep mask in order to sleep better, great. If you need earplugs, do that. Uh, if you've got a supportive family and if it's just, maybe it's crazy, maybe you've got a newborn, or I, if, if you could get someone to agree to let you sleep in a different room, whatever you need to do, get good sleep. And you know, most of the guys that I'm talking to were probably mostly masters athletes here and you have family, so you gotta kind of figure that out. But do your best to get the best sleep that you can over the next five days. Don't try to catch up on the last night, I guess is my point there. As far as nutrition, hit your macros every day this week. Even though the workouts are lighter, the volume is a little bit lighter than you would normally do historically, and even Thursday, Friday, you're gonna have a lot lighter volume, you're still gonna hit your macros. You wanna keep your body primed for Saturday and Sunday where you're really gonna beat yourself up.
So hit those macros. As a side note, if you need help knowing precisely what macros you should be eating every day, protein, carbs, and fats, shoot me a DM. I have both a personal nutrition plan that I can just deliver to you, you can follow it, or I can coach you for 12 weeks so that we can refine that and get it perfected. Um, either one doesn't matter to me, but if you'd like some help on that, just shoot me a DM. All right, now we're to Thursday. On Thursday, think of it as an active recovery day. Again, we're keeping in mind our competition is Saturday and Sunday. So active recovery day, we want to go for a solid walk, 30, 45 minute walk or bike ride, something that gets your heart rate going a bit, gets blood flowing through your muscles, but does not have any intensity. We're not going for intensity on this particular day. You might also take some time to mobilize. So foam rolling, grab your massage gun and, and just work yourself down. Take some time to go through a ROMWOD or two or uh, GoWOD Mobility, also a great app to work on that mobility. And this should also be part of your active recovery every Thursday, uh, but get some stretching, get some foam rolling, maybe a massage gun. Get a massage if you actually can. That would be absolutely amazing. If you can get into a sauna or a hot tub for 10 to 20 minutes just to let that blood flow, that's what we're going after. We're not going for any work today, just getting that blood flow through your entire body. And you're eating all of your macros and you're getting all the sleep. Then we move on to Friday. It's the day before the competition. Now it's time to start moving again a bit. What I like to do the day before the big competition is pick one of the workouts, a couple of the workouts, and practice transitions. So I actually go through a full warm up, what I would typically do for any day that I'm lifting heavy or doing a Metcon. I've got a pretty standard warm up that I go through. So go through your standard warm up and then practice parts of the workouts. Again, if you know them ahead of time. So if a workout has some tricky transitions, practice a movement, transition, next movement, transition, next movement, so that you can develop that rhythm and how many steps it takes to turn around on a handstand walk. You might do things like that. And again, you're just kind of going through some movements. If you don't know the workout, you might do something like five rounds of Cindy. So five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. Maybe five rounds of that. Maybe 10 or 15 minutes on an assault bike, nice and light, just at a talking pace, getting the body moving, full mobility, and maybe even some barbell work. Some light snatching, light clean and jerks, maybe some light barbell cycling. Again, if this is the type of competition that will have those movements in them, I like to do a little bit of practice just to keep the ax as sharp as possible for game day tomorrow. Tonight, Friday night, this is what we go for. We go for standard eating. We're not deviating from anything that we normally eat. So finish up, hit your macros today. Get a good night's sleep. Your mind might be racing. You might be nervous to get to sleep. I know that for me, I have certain rituals that I do to help me get to sleep. So one of the things that I do is I actually will put an AirPod in one ear and laying down like that. And I'll set a timer on my phone for 30 minutes. At the end of 30 minutes, whatever I'm listening to will stop. And I'm normally asleep at that point, don't even notice it. And I'll actually just play a, a television show or a movie that I've listened to a thousand times. And it just allows my brain to shut off. So, you know, it might be an episode of Arrested Development or Seinfeld or The Office. I've watched those hundreds of times or at least listened to them hundreds of times. So they're not really distracting. They're slightly entertaining, but it just gets me out of my head. And it, it works like a charm for me to get to sleep. So we aim to get really good sleep the night before the competition. Another thing you want to do on your Thursday or Friday is you want to do some meal planning. So during the weekend of competition, you don't want to be thinking about cooking rice or cooking chicken or meat or anything like that. Let's get that done Thursday or Friday beforehand. It'll give your mind something to do. It'll occupy some of your time. So cook all the rice that you need if that's your thing or cook all your vegetables. Pre-cook all of your chicken, have everything ready and refrigerated so that when it comes time on Saturday and Sunday to pack for the day, you are good to go. So it's game day Saturday. Here's what we wanna do. We wanna get up, have a normal breakfast. It's the same kind of breakfast that you would have on any kind of a training day. For me, it's eggs and rice or eggs and a sweet potato, uh, maybe a little bit of fruit and coffee. That's standard for me. Every day of the week I have that. So I'm gonna have that on game day so that my body just knows what to do with all of that. I'm not gonna get crazy. I'm not gonna eat a giant thing of pancakes before game day, that just doesn't make sense. I don't wanna shock my body in any way. I'm also gonna pack everything that I'm gonna need for the day. Not necessarily when I come back and at night, it's time to, to refuel, make sure I get the rest of my macros for the day. I just wanna pack 
for the day. So here's the things that go with me to a competition. I've got sugar, salt, vegetable glycerin. That is part of my recovery drink. And if you haven't seen my video on recovery drink, uh, just search for my video on supplements. I talk about my recovery drink there. So those are the ingredients for my recovery drink. I just add those to water in specific amounts. I'll try to put the link right here for you so it's easy to get to. And that is my recovery drink. I'll bring uh, Ascent Whey Protein. This is kind of what, that's the brand I'm using right now. So I like whey protein. I'll have that with me. I'll have lots of water. So I'll bring a couple of gallons of water. I don't know how hot it's gonna be. I don't know how much water I'm gonna need throughout the day, but I am gonna stay very hydrated throughout the day. So I'm gonna make sure I have a couple of gallons of water with me for my recovery drink, for my protein shakes. All that's gonna help me out tremendously. I'm also gonna pack fruit. So I wanna be fueling with carbs most of the day. Before each event and after each event, I'm having some carbs. And the quickest carbs to get into my system are gonna be apples, bananas, berries. So I have plenty of those with me in my cooler. I'm also gonna have a couple of small meals. So I don't know always exactly how much time I'm gonna have between events or how hungry I'm gonna be. I'm, I know this, I'm not gonna be hungry, but I'm gonna force myself to eat a bit. And a simple meal for me is something like, you know, just shredded chicken and rice. And it can be cold. I would love to have it warmed up. And at the CrossFit Games a couple of years ago, there were microwaves. Uh, two years ago, no microwaves. So I don't care if I eat it cold. I'm just getting some rice and some chicken in me because I have a couple of hours before my next event. If I don't have that kind of time, I'll have some RX bars to have as meals between events. Now, if there's, let's say there's three events in a day and I have, you know, event one, I have a little bit of fruit beforehand, the event, recovery drink, protein shake, some fruit. Next event, little fruit before the event, after the event, some fruit, recovery drink, protein shake, maybe an extended time before my next event, I'm gonna have a little bit of a meal, so an RX bar or some chicken and rice. Before that event, some fruit. After the event, recovery drink, protein shake, and some fruit. Then I'm gonna get home that night and I'm gonna be short on fats, I'm gonna be short on proteins, for the day and I'm probably still short on carbs. Even though I've had a lot of fruit and recovery drink for the day, I'm still short on my overall intake for the day. So I'm gonna make sure that I finish the day hitting my macros for that day. Get a good night's sleep that night and you know, there might be a little bit of downtime, so grab that massage gun, work your body, and work those areas that are just, you know you worked hard, you know, maybe your posterior chain, um, shoulders, whatever, back, doesn't matter hit it with that massage gun, uh, have someone help you with that if you can, get into a hot tub if you have access to that, and then get to sleep for your next day of competition. Now, whether you have multiple days, three, four days, you're just gonna take this template and repeat that. So if your workout's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, day one, day two, day three, day four, they're all repeats. If, if it's a two-day event, same thing. You've got Saturday, repeat on Sunday. Simple enough, just do the same thing. The only thing you do get to do is after your last event, you get to celebrate a little bit. So that might be, you know, cracking open a beer. That's fine, you know, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, it might be, for me, it might be having some pizza. Um, it's kind of one of those things I really enjoy doing post-event is have some pizza. It's never as good as I want it to be, but it's pretty dang good and I'm relieved. The event is over, the stress is over. You know, I battled on the battlefield with my friends, um, you know, this is what I love doing, and uh, whether I did well or whether I just got through the whole thing, I'm gonna celebrate a little bit. So, enjoy that last, if it's a Sunday night, enjoy that night, have a little bit of fun, and then, the following week, post-event, you're probably pretty beat up. If you went for it and you sold out on that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or that Saturday and Sunday, and you were just dead, give your body and your central nervous system and your head some space to recover. There is no need to jump right back into training. Uh, I've made this mistake before. You know, I've, I've come back from Madison and jumped right into training without allowing myself to just calm down. Um, you know, your body is fatigued from the intensity. Uh, it's very intense. So first time coming back from the games, I was ready to train and I went for it. And I actually, I, I, I got a little bit burned out, hurt myself a little bit, and that wasn't a great situation. That was 2018. 2019 post games took the week off and it was great. It was hard, it's hard for me to do that, but my body enjoyed that. And as I eased myself back in the water, boy, it was nice. 
I was ready to start working out again. I didn't go right back to intensity. I sort of eased into the water and got back to training. So give yourself some space post event to just, again, allow your body, your mind, your central nervous system to calm down. That's how we prepare for our first competition or our thousandth competition, whether it's a two day competition or a four or six day competition, doesn't matter. This is the template that I use and it's proven to work really well for me. The 2018 CrossFit Games, third place. 2019 CrossFit Games, I won it. Legends Championship, just this past year, I won it. And this was the template that I used. Um, I won it, I enjoyed it, I had all the energy that I needed, my body was ready, and that's what I wanted to provide for you today. If you have any questions or thoughts about this, please leave them in the comments below, I'm happy to help. If you'd like more specific guidance, I do mentor other athletes, I do some nutrition coaching, I provide nutrition plans, I can provide workouts as well, and I can just talk you through competitions if you'd like some mentoring on that. So leave a DM below, like and subscribe to this channel because I've got a lot more content coming from the RV. All right, guys, see you next time.